Support for this podcast comes from today's military. You have a calling, we have an answer. You want to have meaning in whatever you do, from improving your community to making the world a better place. You can find that fulfillment in today's military. You have a calling, we have an answer. Learn more at todaysmilitary.com. This episode is brought to you by Lenovo Enterprise Solutions. Lenovo is here to help your company find a smarter way forward with technology and IT solutions that keep your employees protected, connected, and productive wherever they work. Learn more at lenovo.com slash enterprise solutions. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price fail, I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. So listen to our podcast jam with co-host Arm and Dan, then Bert, don't be a jerk, cause when the music goes the funny hits and we are gonna take you down. Stick around. Make a sound, come down, it's Dumb People Town. Hey, townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb, Dumb People Town. Town. Population you. Population Kulop and Su Chin, welcome. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Hello, guys. Welcome to town, ladies. Oh, I'm so happy I'm so, we're doing this. I'm happy to be here. Thanks, thanks for letting us come to this town. <laughs> oh, you'll I, be happy when you're probably leaving this town at some <laughs> Yeah, it's fun to check in but never kind of stay for too long. It's just stu- we believe the world's getting dumber. What do you guys think? Just in general, I mean, has the pandemic like just is it the pandemic? I always ask people, have we just kind of gone off our rockers and we're heading off a cliff of dumb at this point? I mean, I can just uh, uh, 100% Yes. Me. Mm-hmm. Like, Speak I feel that way about yeah, me. That's right. And then because I am constantly in judgment of others, mm-hmm. yes, everybody else. That's right. <laughs> Facts. Suchin, what do you think? Um, wow. It, you know, I I always try to take the other side, but I'm not seeing another side. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's uh, hard to see I'm the other really side. Really hard. I uh I like to play devil's advocate. Yep, I like right. to yeah. make sure that 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 another voice but yeah, it's kind of dumb. Yeah, like, yes. it is getting dumber every day. Is the word? I mean, yeah. Joni Mitchell did re-record her song to say, "I see the world through one side now," and like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dan. Yeah, there's Dan, not another throw side. that around. Yeah, wow. hey, I'll do it. Joni so Mitchell. we get we we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Just hot topics here. You know, I mean, like oh, you come to Dumb People Town for your Joni Mitchell takes. For all the hot Joni Mitchell takes, come to Dumb People Get ready for a Ricky Lee latest. Jones drop. It's <laughs> like going to be no, in no time. So we get stories sent in by our fans. And I want to talk about your awesome podcast, which I love. I could listen to you guys. Forever, yes, forever. It's so you're, you just, oh, you're, thanks, guys. your tone, your voices themselves are right. so just beautiful and soothing. I just. I, I could listen to it. But also, like, it does really make you think about consumers. We'll get into it. Oh, my it. We'll God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about it this second segment. We'll get into We're it later. We're teasing but, you but with But first, this. there is just a dumb story that we want to jump into right now. And we got you both here. Let's get into it. Dan. Okay. This was sent in by Farrah Thorson. Thorson. This is a new uh, at, at Farrah Thorson. That's F-A-R-R-A-H-T-H-O-R. E S O N. Thank you. All they did was at Daniel Van Kirk, hashtag dumb people town. Tweet that at me with your story. If you're the first one to get it in, I give you cred. Okay. Yeah. Ready for this headline? Yes. I bet you the the five of us could just talk about this <laughs> happening, like this headline. the idea of this off of just the headline, okay. let alone the details. Okay. Airport worker fired for slipping you ugly note. To traveler. Oh boy. <laughs> oh in my her goodness. defense. In her defense, the traveler was really ugly. I mean, let's be honest. But that's just their side. Uh, and she did not have an alibi. Why did I make her a her? It could have been a him. <laughs> could be. He did not have an alibi. U G L Y, he did yeah. not have no alibi. <laughs> you ain't got no alibi. Again, cutting I, edge, you guys. These is, I mean, I gotta know, is it was it handwritten? Yes. Was it We're letter pressed, ready yeah. to go? Was it laminated? <laughs> Did this person go very deep into the? And like, here's my other question: We've all traveled a lot, right? Yes. How much are yes. you traveling that you've built up some sort of enough of an impression on someone that they just need to let you know, not in a confrontational way, 
You, you ugly. ugly. You ugly. I mean, that's horrifying. That is a terrible thing to say. I've never looked great at the airport. Like now, never. especially. You don't care. On a, on a I, 6 a.m. flight, Su Chin, come on. There's no I way mean, listen, we look good. I, I, I listen to that note and or that headline <laughs> mm-hmm. and think about that note. And the tone I get is, you ugly on the inside. That's yes, what you right? Oh. Yes. Yeah. If they would have wow. said on the inside. I get but the tone. Maybe. That yeah. this person was nasty. Yep. Mm-hmm. Throwing was shade. Was mean. Yep. And was uh, in some sort of righteous indignation. Yep. Right. That they should have to share an aircraft with other people. Yep. Which sure. I, I love Could when very- people get so incensed. And you're like, you, you, you do ugly. realize that you were sharing public transport like right. some form right. of don't a public be ugly right. don't be ugly okay. you ugly and they got ugly they got ugly and and i felt like the note was less okay. about their physical appearance i will but allow like, that i will that allow attitude. that i wonder if it was just like a like a flight attendant who was like you know there's two exits there two uglies right here <laughs> like just using those two fingers to kind of <laughs> see i kind of hope i kind of so hope <laughs> I want it to be simple. Like Did I don't want it. Cool up, just cool up. 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 This person is very ugly, but they're also going, I'm pretty yes, as right. they're For walking. Sure. <laughs> yes. So the so person so we gotta, it's our duty to let him know. <laughs> if he, he doesn't know, he is right. unaware. He, he thinks has. he's too fabulous. Guys, <laughs> this, <laughs> we gotta save him from some but, other hurt down okay. the line. But he doesn't okay. get it. it. Even if this person is insanely <laughs> ugly on the outside, or very much more likely, it's such it's very ugly on, on the, the inside. inside. <laughs> Either way. Imagine the feat of going not a commuter like you fly once every two years <laughs> and you went from like walking into the airport to getting through TSA and someone thought I need to write down how ugly this person is. Either way, that's amazing. Uh, it's amazing. So bad. I mean, left a crazy impression on someone. It's so bad. <sighs> okay. It's just I could, so- I'm also imagining you know, this person is so afraid of flying right now because they mm-hmm. haven't flying since pre COVID. Yep. yep. <laughs> so I'm excited. Just, a mess. They're a mess. And what do, to, it, what do they find? What do they find? A what? note. A note. I mean, if it was handed to like Ben Affleck, I'd be like, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like your style. Oh I like what you're doing. Fair. I like all of this. Fair. Okay. I told you guys, we haven't even gotten into the story yet. That <laughs> was all headline talk. That's just headline. Okay. <laughs> this is just speculation. Uh-huh. Okay. A security screener at a New York airport is out of a job after slipping a note to a traveler that read, as we all know, mm-hmm. you ugly. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Neil Strassner was going through a security <laughs> checkpoint. This the airport Neil, is also perfect for this. Neil, didn't Neil Strassner uh, co-write the book with Mystery, the no. pickup artist? No, that's no. Neil Strauss.
This would be the ultimate neg. Yeah, oh, the yeah. ultimate <laughs> neg. I was just Guys. trying to neg him. Right. I thought it was Neil Strauss, right. man. Neil Strassner was going through a security checkpoint at Greater Rochester, Rochester International Airport. Mm-hmm. So it's like... We're not talking LaGuardia. No, no. This is in JFK. This, this is in late June when a security guard handed him a torn piece of paper with those words scrawled on it. Oh, my God. Strassner said he only recently obtained a copy of security footage from that day through the Freedom of Information Act. You are going deep <laughs> to find out. I'm going to get... I'm oh, gonna, you don't mess with, with Neil Strauss. <laughs> hey, you mess oh, with, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, he's, no, he, he's, he, got, he's got meetings in Cleveland, <laughs> and he's got security <laughs> tape to find, and he will be back at this airport on Tuesday, but you already knew that. Honey, come downstairs for, for your son's fourth birthday. Nah, I'm no, I'm screening tapes. No, no. I'm out of here. <laughs> Going out for your oh requests. <laughs> How much do you want to bet that Neil Strassner, <laughs> in the process of screening tapes, said to himself, Oh, it's about to get ugly. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see ugly? <laughs> it's going to get ugly. But they didn't say why in the story. Well, we're going to get it. Really yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna gonna get on. Hold I, on. I called the airport and I tried to get the information, and they said I had to talk to the county, Strassner said on Friday. Quote, I called the county. First of all, who's the county? I called the county, and they Hello? said that that was the only way I could get it was through the Freedom of Information Act. Mm-hmm. After right. he passed through the checkpoint and began walking away, this is a retelling of what happened, mm-hmm. Strassner said he heard the worker yell back at him, quote, you going to open that note? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. I was more confused than anything, Strassner said. I, ju- I kind of just looked at it and thought, that was weird. I'm now going to show all of us. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to look right there on the screen. A picture of the, the note, note that he was handed. No, I want to see a picture of Neil. <laughs> Who cares about the note? I don't know if we have a picture of Neil. I want a picture of Neil. It may I not. Know. I know. All right, here. It's coming up. It may not be for our eyes. <laughs> oh, wow. Look Jesus. at this. I'm, three, shock, I'm three, shocked they spelled ugly right. Three exclamation points. This is, this is a hastily so, written note. Somebody, and what what is this on like Starbucks cup I, cooler yes. hold, you know holder? What yeah, is like that? Yeah, like one of those With little cozies. and they just yeah. folded it up. Listen, it was like, written out of passion in the moment. Right. You know, like three exclamation like, points. Box. Did, yeah. they, they didn't even have time for a verb. Not it's enough. really you, a, they couldn't even get the verb in there. Right, you ugly. You, you ugly. Exclamation point. Mm-hmm. Exclamation point. I just, it's amazing. I mean, I have so many thoughts. I'm sorry. Give them all. Give them all. It's amazing that we have stretched the Freedom of Information Act Mm -hmm. uh, to (laughs) To cover this. this. It's it's incredible that that this person. um, Number two, I just, I go back to, and... So Neil, we assume mm-hmm. he's he's a man. Yes. Or he yes. identifies yes. as a man. Yeah. Let's yep. just make that assumption. Sure. Yeah. And the number one, you know, they've said it in studies. The number one fear of men is what? Fire. What's the number one? F- what? Locust. Small penis. Fire. No. What? Stand up no. comedy. <laughs> closer. <laughs> okay. Is uh, public is speaking. that they'll oh. closer? Is that they'll ever feel humiliated? That's right. Mm. That's right. The uh, humiliation. Yeah. And number yes. one fear of women. You know, let's not get into it, but right. you know, getting killed killed every time right. they walk out. Anyway, the door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, yes. Right. Listen, I'm me. not here to talk yes. about women. Yeah. Right? Men are from Enough. Mars. Women are Enough. from Venus. Yeah. 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 Women, we can do this women, all day. getting killed. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I just, it's it's incredible to me that Neil felt that. That hurt. That's yeah. so deeply wounded. I mean, I mean that look, he's engaging the county. Yep. He's engaging federal. <laughs> he's rights. like, I'm not ugly. I, I, although to, part of him, I to think, find out why. I know. Yeah. I think part of him was like, you thought you got one in on me. Yeah. You you get ready. But the weird thing is, he goes, you think I, I'll give up? You yeah. think I'll get tired of this? This is my fire. <laughs> I mean, to him, like, it, and again, that person you said at the top of this article that that person got fired. If I'm Neil Strauss, I book a flight, I go back, and I'm <laughs> write like, a note, and I, you, <laughs> I'm like, you can open that pink slip because <laughs> all it says on is that you fired. fired. You fired. But the fact that he goes, I just looked at it and thought that was weird. I'm like, well, you weren't that cavalier about no, it. You're calling you the county. Yeah. You're calling the yeah. county. Strasner, I thought it was weird. who lives in Rochester and travels weekly in his role as tra- technical coordinator, said he was on his way to technical Wichita. Technical coordinator. Could what anyone tell? I have no idea what that is. That's no like going clue. into plastics. Yep. That's, no one knows. He doesn't even know what he regional does. Regional manager. He said he was on his way to Wichita for a work trip the morning of the incident. He said he called the airport that afternoon to file a complaint and was advised to stop in with 
security when he returned later that week. Mm -hmm. When he met with a supervisor at the airport, Strassner said he got the impression the supervisor didn't believe him. I I don't know that I would either. Let's roll the tape. The employee who who handed him the note worked for VMD Corporation, a security company based in Virginia, and contracted through TSA. Strassner said the company had promised to contact him about the episode on August 13th. When he hadn't heard from them by Thursday, he uploaded a nearly two-minute-long video to Reddit. Okay, Neil. There he goes. This This is is how we know about it. Within two hours, he said the company contacted him, which he attributes to the power of the internet. Yes. VMD Mm. did not immediately return a request. TSA said the employee was let go. Mm -hmm. They then go on to... Go go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. This is all of us. This is... But, okay, I'm not defending... The Mm-mm. you ugly person. No. Okay, I'm defending a little bit. Yes. But <laughs> what what exactly did he do that that he should get fired? I'm just asking the I question. I think he should not get fired. I think he should be forced to apologize to him because that is a little bit, you keep your job, but you are forced also, to why not just, hat in hand apologize to him. Because it wasn't like, did he feel unsafe? No. Was he not doing his job? He Was, did his well, job. That's right. I mean, but it you, is you can't bad walk around customer. insulting people. Yeah. You, like, like, like yeah. you, you literally can't do it. Like, it, your your boss is a lot. Like, if if your job is you're at security, like, obviously it's not going to hurt the business of the security people, and it's not going to hurt the business of the airport. People still have to fly. But like, if people start making stinks because of what you said or your behavior, then you go. But you're this gone. Is, this yeah. is the thing I would say. Like, stuff like this happens in dumb people town. If yeah. we were dumb people town, you're like, I got. Can somebody take me to the airport? Be like, yeah. Just so you know, you might get handed a note there that says you're you ugly. ugly. You like, ugly. That kind of stuff happens in dumb people town. Yeah. Also. If you're going to get somebody good, don't make your own evidence to get caught. Just yeah. say to the guy yeah. as he walks by, hey, buddy, you ugly. Yeah. And then it's over. You, yeah. he get a, you said I it, I said he's it. Probably you're going to get like a reprimand. Pers- he's in the only so person weird. in the history of the phrase you ugly to leave a paper trail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It feels weird to leave a, a note. And then you going to read that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. No. He wasn't sure that the joke would land or right. the or the comment would land. Right. So if I'm coming back through, because Neil's coming back through. Neil's weekly, coming back through. He's got more like, Where's your buddy? Where'd he go? Yeah. yeah. What happened to yeah. him? God, he was so funny. It's such a shame. So he lost I lo- his job. I, and then just be like, I loved what he said. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I don't know. so fun. I, I was calling to say that was a good one, but I guess your bosses didn't like it. Here, this Sorry. is a weird turn. Strassner said he will not allow his experience to sour, sour his opinion of Greater Rochester International Airport. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Which, That's the thing I would have gone to sleep. It was a PR a, nightmare. Right? right? Like, would we have all been able to sleep tonight if, we, if no. we still would have held that against Rochester International Airport? Because he's a big fan of the free classic arcade games so news news to everybody Whoa. rochester Whoa. airport has free classic arcade games that you can play while you wait Guys, for your flight. i don't want to throw the ba- i don't want to throw the baby <laughs> pac-man out with the bathwater. <laughs> what a detail yeah. what a- and dan you keep get- dropping the international in rochester okay right. this is why <laughs> They got one flight to Montreal. They got one one flight flight to Montreal, Montreal and suddenly they're international. international. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the the other way to think about it. What if there wasn't that great, those great games? Mm -hmm. How would he have reacted? The only reason why he was somewhat civil is because of those games. Because of those games. Centipede can really, it definitely like calm a man down. Cover up a lot of those. Yeah. High scores. The high score. Yeah. Dude, he. I bet he's got the high score on a couple of those games. We all have friends. Rory Scoville and Nate Pargazzi, mm-hmm. who deliberately took a later flight in Minneapolis so that they could go to the airport's golf simulator for a couple more hours. <laughs> Stop it. So <laughs> just sign the golf club. Yes. I'm like, this wow. guy, I'm pretty sure it was like pre kids for both of them, too. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to ask. <laughs> you don't yeah. do that with kids. Yeah. <clears throat> but so they, we know people who are like, I love that airport because of the video games. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll get out of here on this. He says, I fly out of there all the time. They're actually a pretty good airport out of all the airports. I go to in the country. By the way, it's they're one actually of my a, favorite. It, they're actually a pretty good airport. Not really a ringing endorsement. <laughs> it's just kind of like a backhanded compliment. <laughs> yeah. uh, but here's the thing: is I would never have gone down a Freedom of Offer, like Information, Information Act, Act. No. like no. request all that stuff. But if I got handed by anyone who works an employee a you ugly, <laughs> and I would assume it's only going to be based off of my looks and not yeah. my behavior because I try to be nice to That's everybody. Right. But if I got one of those, the the comedy gold they would have just given me for the, that weekend's Can you performance. Imagine? There, there's oh your podcast God, for the week. Oh my God, it would yeah. be like, oh, I would be so happy that this happened to me. 
But oh, he's God. not a comedian. Yeah, he's Strassner. a, no, he's a, a comedian. technical coordinator. Uh, he's, a technic- he's a technical coordinator, mm-hmm. which God knows what that means. Technically, I, I don't even know what it is. Figure out what that is. I don't know. That's story number one, friends. Wow. Okay. Story number one yeah, down amazing. in the books. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> at, we're going to add to cart what these guys are doing next on the other side of this break. It's Dumb People Town. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Townies, you got to come check us out on Stereo. We do shows there every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Pacific, and they're amazing. It's fun. You're going to love being there with us. We do the shows essentially with you. Yeah, it is so much fun. We'll sometimes just start with like a crazy headline and let mm-hmm. you guys feed off of it. Or you, a list of bizarre fast foods. That was one of my favorites, and we got to hear what some of your just the dumbest fast foods you've ever tried, and it was a blast. Just mm-hmm. counting down the anticipation. So much fun. Please join us. All you got to do is follow me uh, at it's, uh, I'm sorry, let me get it, Stereo.com slash Randy Sklar. So download the free Stereo app by going to Stereo.com slash Daniel Van Kirk. Or Stereo.com slash Randy Sklar. Or Stereo.com slash Jason Sklar. And follow the three of us so that you'll know when we go live and on Stereo. And then we'll Stereo. see you Tuesdays at four on Stereo. Hey guys, taking care of yourself does not need to be hard. CBD can help you feel better without making drastic changes to your routine. Caliper CBD believes that everyone, and I believe this too, deserves a simple way to feel better. In fact, this past January, Colorado State University published the first peer-reviewed study to compare how different CBD products on the market are absorbed and processed by the body. And get this, Caliper CBD was found to deliver 30 times more CBD than CBD oil in their first 30 minutes. So your body is mostly water. Oil and water don't mix. Caliper gives you all the benefits of CBD in just 10 minutes, where CBD oils can take up to two hours to fully absorb. There's also exactly 20 milligrams in each packet of Caliper CBD, so you never have to question how much you're taking. And it comes in 30 and 60 count packs just to make it easy. It's really easy to take. You can mix in your morning smoothie. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Mix in your coffee, mix yeah. it in your water before you uh, before you hike, before you do something like that. It's a great way for you to feel better. You get 20% off your first order when you use the promo code DPT at tricaliper.com slash DPT. You can try Caliper CBD risk-free for 30 days. And if you don't love it, they'll give you a full refund. That's tricaliper.com slash DPT. Don't forget the promo code DPT for 20% off your first order. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Mm -hmm. Uh, Before we get into their beautiful podcast, uh, we want to let people know that we are doing live Dumb People Town live through Nowhere Comedy Club on April 10th with Ryan Sickler from The Honeydew. Be there, you'll miss it. It's going to be so much fun. And I'm going to say this, we are not going to release it in the feed. The only way you can listen to the show is to be there live. The band, The Cactus Blossoms from Minneapolis, unbelievable band. They're going to be playing. It's going to be a killer night. We got a Greenlee that's unbelievable. Dan, so if you guys want to hear it, the only way to hear it is to uh, get a ticket. Go to eventbrite.com and get the tickets for that live on People Town. And Dan, you got stuff at danielvankirk.com. Play some bingo. Raise some money for charity. No kill animal shelters, big brothers, big sisters, food banks. And you can also win stuff for yourself. It's a good time. Pub trivia. And then Rory Scovel and I have the live pen pals go to danielvankirk.com for all that good stuff all right ladies let's talk about your awesome podcast uh it's it is i think of the moment you know i mean how much are we do- i've added so much stuff to my cart all in my day, life every day just in life but you guys launched in november right yes just this past november okay. so give give our awesome fans just a chance to like dive into it I, i'm gonna recommend i can't recommend Cannot it recommend it. it's like you guys have been like uh running like you hit the ground running with this thing and it's so good but let them know what they can expect in it well it, it's suchin and i talking about the things we've bought but it's also the things that we've bought into so not ne- not right. necessarily just stuff but right. sort of like trends ideas movies um, that you dig you yes. know yep yeah. Yes, and and talking about things that we get into it it, it and even just by like the items, mm-hmm. like whatever's in our cart is very revealing. Turns out, <laughs> oh my it's like a Rorschach test for the human soul. <laughs> it, it, it's not only just also the things that we put in our carts because it could be very innocuous. Like we had a whole conversation when I said I. I love this fizzy drink. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, it's a beautiful drink. I, Which I like to have it. Which one? It's it's a yerba mate sparkling um, soda. I Ooh. want it. I want it. I want so it good. Now. And it's, a, it's a ginger. What, what's the flavor? It's of it? ginger and grapefruit, um, yes. which the is the hell? only flavor. Who makes it? That Who? you should get. It's you. it's called the company's called Guayaki. Okay. okay. 
I can, I have You can get it at it. Whole Foods, uh -oh. generally, okay. if sure. you see that. So, listen, just an innocent remark mm -hmm. by an yeah. innocent woman here mm -hmm. passing through, yes. you know? Yes, And I said, uh, I don't remember how it came up, and I said, you know, but they're quite expensive. You know, mm -hmm. I, I mean, they're probably two fifty three dollars for mm -hmm. a small little can, so right. I like to cut it. With and then I say, time out. What does that mean? Cut it. Cut it. No, cut it. Water, drug it dealer. water it down. You water it down. <laughs> water it down. You make one with two. You, you Randy, make one you are leaning in. You're yeah. leaning in no, both elbows. No, it's not just two. He recognizes. You make recognizes. it into how many? One makes three. How many? One, one makes how one many? Can, one can... Um, one can, it depends on a mm -hmm. on a on a speedy day that I just mm -hmm. need a bit more energy. It makes two. Mm -hmm. On a normal like, hey, mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just a mom minding my own business. It yeah. takes it makes three three um, cans out of one. <laughs> Three can and, and also there are unopened cans and and, and those cans put get put in various fridges. Okay, this, <laughs> this is like the story of Hanukkah. I was gonna say this is like a Jewish parable. I, I truly we had enough oil for one night, but we, we had enough. Your, we had enough out of fizzy drink for one, one night, oh, and then it lasted good. for eight cans, good. three and meals. Who knew? Jeez, it's a miracle. I I have been doing this for who, how long with and it's anything normal to you. and everything. It's so it's normal. It's so to you. normal to me. I just mentioned it just yeah. as to fill time. Uh -huh. In passing, tiny Kulop comment. falls out of her chair. Of course, we all did. <laughs> falls out, crawling, crawling uh -huh. out of a hole that mm -hmm. she can't figure can't out how understand. to get out of. Yes. And then I have to look at myself. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. this through is... someone else's lens. That's right. Do you see, yeah. what, do you see this? Yeah, and I, I love see it. that I am cheap. Mm -hmm. I am yep. crazy. Yes. I am, you know, kind of disgusting. No, and also, I, I don't yeah, care. No. Uh, I, I don't really care. The game is care. tight. The but game is tight. Is, yeah, but so I, I'm like, okay, well, well, I'd love for you to have a full can because I think you deserve it. Yes. And she, with you a smile, it. says, you should, Yeah, Suchin, you no. should at least have like full can Saturdays. Full can Saturdays? Like on a Saturday, you just get to go full time. On a Tuesday, <laughs> you can cut You're it. making it seem like when I cut this soda cut that it. there's I feel some sort of loss <laughs> no, no 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 friends she likes to taste more uh, when it's cut so you treat it more it's as a concentrate because I get more it's, more, right. it's a concentrate it's, for you I'm like All look right. at okay. the genius right. Right. Uh, you, the you genius are, you're getting drunk on the good idea that you've just said yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yes that's and, right that's and, right <laughs> and, and F your three dollar sparkling water mm -hmm. that costs you 22 them, cents now it's a dollar yeah, bitch man. it's a dollar <laughs> now that's what you're saying to that place it's a buck don't tell me what I paid for it I'll tell you what I get Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It feels but, but good. But Gu like, sip. thanks for your money. <laughs> right. You're, you're a great customer. They right. don't care. She's like, I only bought inside. one, but it's so inside. brilliant. It's so brilliant. The concept of the show is so brilliant because you're shopping <laughs> and the things you do with the products you buy is such a private thing. And you guys are turning it out it's and so making it public, public and having to answer to it, which is We so may not good. ever have another episode. Every episode, I wonder if we'll wow. come back. Can I just <laughs> say that you can't not use the phrase I cut it with without using then the phrase it's street value. <laughs> yeah, you got to start giving it a street yeah, value. Then, it has a I'm street not going to tell $3. you where I've been and who I've been hanging out with. You know what I mean? I just know that that is right, the language that, that I use. But 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 to say that like that's what happened. I, I think who up and I thought okay, it'd be fun to talk about something mm -hmm. kind of silly and mm -hmm. and you know, we didn't have to like research and right. you know yeah, put a lot of intellectual property uh into into it and then turns out that like just some little conversation mm -hmm. about the stuff that we buy or the things that we're watching mm -hmm. um you know start to spark up all of this stuff about who we are as people fundamentally and i i just want to say i love love the thought that you guys um, like the show. I'm going to pretend that it's actually real. And it is real. Take real. that yeah. in. <laughs> Joking? Of course. But no, no, no. I could listen to you guys talk about anything. That's what I'm talking we, about. It opens you up. Who you guys, knows I'm a supporter. I'll show up at a screening yes. room at UTA at 10 a.m. in the morning on a Tuesday <laughs> for this one. Thank you yep. so much. <laughs> you know we <laughs> Thank are. Thank you, he did. <laughs> yeah. And he did. Yeah. Oh, that's you know. awesome. No, but you but guys I, just, are open I love it. it. I love that you guys, you guys find your way into it because it, it is a lot about, you know, two old Asian aunties' experiences. <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder, I wonder, I'm like, is 
any does anybody give a shit? I yeah. have no idea. I dig but the I specificity that. because I'm always like, you have to be. Oh, you know this, Kulap as well. Like you have to be open to everything. Be like, all right, something comes up. I gotta like open up and just talk about. It's gotta. I have to open myself up here. I gotta leave a little something out on the field. Yeah. And you guys are both always up for that. So because that's again, what I, I like can't. too. I want to say like it is. You guys easily could just be like, oh, I heard about this thing. I saw this TikTok because there's like a whole swath of TikTok mm-hmm. that is about like Amazon finds and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But to then say like, well, what does that say about, about me you. or yeah. about you? That's yeah. The fun part. Which which is kind of in a way of like what we do with dumb people town. Like we don't, yeah. we've always said like, we don't point at somebody and go, Oh, wasn't that person stupid? We say like, what why? made that person think that? Like what was happening that <laughs> led to that decision or what and does why that is this say? affecting me? Why do, why does this make me angry? Yeah. Why yeah. am I loving this more <laughs> yeah. than anything in the world? So. I love yeah. it. All right. Well, shall well, we wait, go ahead. I, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. So, I, no, I wanted any... to ask what you guys had added to your cards. It just seemed like the Recently? right place, but we could be going. In yeah. Well, let's talk Ooh, about that. I bet I could tell you I have something I have in my cart right now. I, I'll do it. <laughs> Everybody, have, by the way, for people listening, everyone's Does it just have checking. to be online because I have... No. Okay, Mm-mm. so I Anything. add my cart of life. This oh. is what I added. And oh, I am on, very baby, food... I'm very food driven in like a terrible way. Um, in that like I use food in the worst ways to like reward myself for things. There is a dark pretzel... At Whole Food, at Whole Foods 365, it is the darkest of pretzels. <laughs> it is, it's a big size pretzel. It is so good, and I get oh. a garlic spread, and I just put that in my cart the other day, so to speak, in my mental cart because I had had a good week where I felt very productive, <laughs> and I went to town on that bag. And my 13 year old daughter got so pissed at me because the bag was gone before she could have any of it, and I was like, "Yeah, that was for me. I'm sorry." Yeah, that was, a, yeah sometimes that's dad nice. needs to be selfish about stuff, and I'm telling you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go beautiful. food too. I'm gonna go food too. You it's too. Okay. Okay. Food up for it. So. I were I'm on, I went on a diet for uh, like an idiot going into the pandemic, which is basically like taking like a oath of celibacy as you go into the Olympic <laughs> village as an athlete. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? So, and so I, I get super hungry late at night and I, cause my daughter wakes me up early in the morning. My son makes me stay up super late at night. So I'm up like 20 hours a day, like no human being should be. <laughs> yes. And so I start to get super hungry cause it's been eight hours since I ate dinner yeah. and it's so late. So I, was like, can I have diet soda? It's so dumb. It's the dumbest thing. I'm like, it's no calories. So, I can't. so I've been getting diet A and W root beer. Like I work at a freaking gas station, and and no one has Which we it. We did, by the way, we did we work at a gas station, school. but <laughs> nobody has it. Like I've gone around to stores, nobody has it here, and like I'm hunting it down. Like I'm like an A and W hunter, and I can't find <laughs> anywhere. And so I will look online on Amazon and see who has it for the cheapest, and who can, and I start to go into panics when I see that I'm low and it's going to take too many days for me to get new Jason. and I'm full on addicted to this and I think you gotta by the start way start cutting it get yes, yourself cut, more get it. should I cut it with water because I'm telling you I think because I'm drinking all this diet soda that has zero calories I think I've gained like eight pounds I was about to say I was like I think we have to look at what's in the I've had eight good. tiny heart attacks like is that bad Dan no, what's in your cart I that mean, was in my cart uh, my, you can totally amazing. tell when I was deep into the show alone because I have all oh, this God. camping gear <laughs> in, my, in my car. <laughs> so alone. I was watching it and then the day... Like, yeah. I need a kerosene heater. I told right. you, have you seen the show alone, you guys? No. Oh, oh my, my God. God. They just of you need to do right, it. Daniel, you like, have to. It's just people okay. people being dropped into a certain uh, difficult terrain, right. a group of them, and they stay by themselves and they have to, they all, they get they a couple of things. There's one person left. You can go, tap out whenever yeah. you want. You have a walkie talkie like, and you're like, I'm done and they come get you. You can take like 10 items with you so yeah. you gotta okay, okay. build your space you gotta fish. and you have to hold I've seen I've seen this and you have to be the last one standing yeah, that's right and you yeah. never know every day because you're alone you don't know if there's three other people six other people or you're the only one left because you're only you know oh. and one's then it is it is perfect television because the winner gets 500 grand but they do medical checks on you like every few days, but certainly once you get past like 50 60 70 days they're like coming yeah. every two days to check on you medically so when you win they bring your like main family 
person in your life or friend or whoever and that person shows up and tells you that you've won and so these people have been out there for like 72 days alone and then oh, wow. their husband comes like walking around a tree oh and they like it's amazing it's, perfect. It? it's like I, oh that's perfect i've TV. watched so that's much of it. wow yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i watched yeah. some of it that my wife and i were watching it and, and that was like we were just like tearing through seasons and my favorite bit to do which is only funny to us but i just think it's so funny is that I would be the Canadian guy who's just describing to my wife who's sitting next to me, who's watching the same thing, what I say, just describing everything that she's already seen. So I'd be like, shouldn't have had that uh, rotten squirrel name. She, he shouldn't have touched it. No, he shouldn't have done it. And I kept on doing it for so long that finally just to shut me up, she didn't say shut up. She pretended to be my Canadian wife. And her response every time I said that was, yeah. <laughs> I was like, shouldn't have gone fishing with that pole, hon. Yeah. She's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're just two dumb Canadians on a it. couch. So like, <laughs> then you guys are just being letter Kenny. Yeah. yeah. So being letter Kenny. <laughs> and my favorite thing was to curl up in the warmest, most comfortable blanket. You know, like that heavy blanket that you're supposed yeah. to have if you're stressed out and it like is like giving you a hug. I would yep, curl, I have one. Of course. I would curl up on my couch with that warm thing. And a cold can. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys don't have this. Guess who got out ahead of this thing? I got ahead out ahead of the A and W diet. Day forty five, motherfuckers. Yeah, day forty five. I still got eight cans left in the fridge. Oh. <laughs> That's great. Dan, yeah, you so, want to do story number yeah, two? Let's do story number okay, two. Okay, here we go. This one's wild. This okay. was sent by Cindy Sack at Mrs. Underscore Sack S A K. Thank you, Cindy, for Thank sending you. this in. Here's the headline. Mm -hmm. This woman called 911 on some humpback whales in the water. <laughs> what Jesus. are you dealing with in your life that you're putting it onto whales? <laughs> I mean, this is Karen to another level, right? Sea level Karen. Sea level Karen. Sea level Karen. Oh my God. Karen Marine Karen. Okay. Imagine but that, Karen. Are, I, I am on the phone. Are you supposed to be here? Are you? I don't care that it's international waters. Are you supposed to be here? Don't blow water in my face. Are you don't supposed you to blow be water here? In my face. Oh, don't you crest on me like that. <laughs> I'll show you a blowhole. She's breaching. She's, She's breaching, breaching on me. She's breaching on us all. Okay. By the way, who wrote the headline? Was it Bruce McCullough's character from Kids in the Hall? Yeah. This woman Coca called 911. Yeah. One on a whale. Here we go. There are lots of reasons not to call 911, like when your burger and fries comes out cold at McDonald's. Somebody must have done that. Uh, or when you see people bar barbecuing at Lake Merritt. I don't know where these places are, but the person writing, writing this, this is working out their own <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely, this is also one of those articles where the person's like, you know, I want to talk to the reader. I want to get in there. I want them to know me. I've had a couple of boxes of wine and I want to get in there. And definitely don't call 911 when you're in Puget Sound and you see some of the ocean's most gentle inhabitants, whales. Yeah. But that's exactly what one woman did. Yeah, oh God. The widely shared video starts with one woman hyperventilating, then sobbing as humpback whales, a uh, humpback whale sprout, uh, spouts near the family's boat. Yeah. <laughs> the only person who seems to realize what they're witnessing is a once in a lifetime show of nature is yeah. the man who's apparently filming the encounter as his family freaks out. He repeatedly begs them to calm down. <laughs> oh and then oh that's man. on the video. So now you're going to have to put music over it because yeah, right. all the video is, is these beautiful images and you going, Hey, stop it. Stop right. it. Calm down. Well, they're screaming. He goes, quote, look, you guys, you'll never see this again. He says in awe, <laughs> honey, don't be scared. This is awesome. Not convinced. The woman chokes out between sobs. Stupid whale. It's going to kill us. <laughs> 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 this is dumb people time. What? I stupid wish what? everyone could stupid see Suchin whale. and Kulop's faces. Stupid, stupid whale, whale, it's gonna kill I us. I have to ask you. Have, it wants to kill the us. The four of you. Have any of you been whale watching yes, or seen whales? I have seen whales. I've seen whales. I've never. I've seen a whole like in Big From Sur. I saw some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like but I've never like been out. Oh, in where, Hawaii, yeah. I saw a bunch of them, and they are the most beautiful, coolest, like just these and the ocean is so big that it's big enough to sort of Holy make God. them seem like they're graceful it's just like you can't get mad at a whale at all no. like even if you well, saw an orca it she went out on a boat yeah right. yeah 
Yeah. Into the ocean. Yes. Yes. Their house. It's their house. Their, right. What exactly. did you what did you expect to see? Yeah. Well, what see were nothing. you doing on that boat? Yeah. Like everyone said. When you call 911, what do you think they'll do? Right. right. Yeah, also, what can they do? Get rid of them. Ma'am, what's, them. what's your address? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what's the longitude and latitude of where we're at right now? <laughs> How many we're, knots are we, honey? We're near the eighth buoy. Mm-hmm. That tell, you know, that article is more um, illuminative. That's not a word. Yeah. It's Illuminating. Like it. Illumination <laughs> skiing mm-hmm. of the marriage. Really. Yeah, you know <laughs> that, that you is. That, that she did is, not want to be on that boat that day. Nope. Two no. people that never communicate, nope. Nope. and and he is on one path, mm-hmm. she is on the other, mm-hmm. and they never can seem to get on Don't the same. Don't ruin page. this for me, honey. Do right. not ruin two this for me. Passing ships, yeah. Two yeah. passing Literally. ships. Two passing ships. One whales. next to a whale, the other, <laughs> you know, calling nine one one. Also, you don't have to do everything together as a family. Like, <laughs> That's leave a them good on point. the beach. That's you go point. out and watch. Yeah, have you your go, thing. You go. I'll see you in five hours. We're gonna have a great dinner tonight. I'm gonna go watch whales. When two more whales appeared, <laughs> it was just too much to bear. Uh-huh. Do you wh- think at this point the whales are like, all right, let's fuck with these people? Yeah. Right, like here we she go. She freaking out. She freaking out. They she, handed her a note saying, "You ugly." <laughs> <laughs> A woman on board truly can be behavior. heard nine, calling 911 yeah. as the boat speeds off. I have a little clip of this video oh that we are God. going to see, and everybody's going to get to hear. Here we go. Ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> what, what would they do? Jesus. Oh, my God. Dad's like, who cares? The whales. First of all, Dad is high as a car. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear him? He's like, man, look at man. Look, they're they looking at do? me, man. They say what a whale can see your soul, do? man. Oh, my God. But and you, then and then the grown man child. That I is know. A, that dad, chi- go that faster. Man is go faster, Dad. Go faster, Dad. To be scared. I mean, about I watched the whole video. The whales just come up next to them, and it, because they're so huge, at parts they're kind of like partly under the boat, but they're not like coming up. They're just like they're just curious whales. My question is, do whales knock boats over? I don't do know. Do they? I don't or think they they're do. just they're just thinking about they saw Jaws recently. <laughs> right. That's yeah. not real. That's Bruce right. is they not real. They saw the real. Poseidon Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> whales don't eat. Meat. Whales don't eat meat. They don't, they don't eat people. people. It's like yeah. they don't care about you. Right. No one cares. When the family no on board the boat. No one care about your boat. So, but that's the ultimate thing of like, I'm important. I'm more important than nature. 911, help me out. Right. Yeah. What were they going to do? Airlift them out? They Nothing. were going to shoot the whales in the water. What were right. they going to do? Like, oh, to be to feel like you're that worthy. That's right. Oh, oh that's to right. feel like you're that worthy that 911 would come and help you out of this <laughs> like non-helpful yeah. si- the situation that's right. not a threatening situation. Um, while the family on board was on board the boat was likely never in danger. Of course, the no. whales could have been hurt by the boat's propeller, though the animals were were unharmed. Thank so it's God. like if anybody had anything to worry about, it was the whales. Whales should have called it's whale. Nine- Always the whales. Yes. Yeah. The video was. Whale 911, I would watch. The video was uh, posted September 29th, according to the Washington Post, and went viral in the last few days for obvious reasons. So this is an older story. And they say, watch it. That, to me, it's another dumb people town. Do you hear about the women who called the, the woman who called the 911 on the whales? Like, no. 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 No, I didn't hear that. I did not hear that. But like all the people who know this woman from like their kids are in gymnastics with her daughter. Like that should be like, like, did you hear that Betty called 911 on two whales? Yep. Right. Yep. That's at the, story number at two. At the swim numbers. club? No, in the ocean. Oh, jeez. Uh, there you go. That's story, story number, number two. two. Dan, can you give us just a little teaser of what we're going to see in story oh, number two? Oh, just the horrors of dating in the modern world. I okay. love it. It's a crazy, <laughs> crazy mixed up world. We're going to get into it with Kulap and Suchin right after this break. Stick around. Make a sound for more dumb people town. 
I love my Brooklyn and sheets so much, and I know you guys love your Brooklyn and towels. Oh yeah. Well, mm-hmm. guess what? I love my Brooklyn and towels too. My wife is an <laughs> interior designer. One of the things she does is she makes up people's bedrooms and will buy sheets for them. And the first night we slept on the Brooklyn and sheets, she said, "I'm never not buying Brooklyn and sheets for all of my clients." She's well, the, doing it. The great thing is when she buys them, there's no middlemen. They work directly with manufacturers, so there's no markups. They also have a lot of different materials to choose from, including eco-friendly and recycled options. And by the way. If your comforter game is lagging, you have to check out Brooklinen's Comforter mm. Collection. They come in lightweight, all season, and ultra warm to suit every type of sleeper and lifestyle, and they have a weighted comforter. Mm. If you don't have a weighted comforter, it's like a hug for your soul. <laughs> yes, it's stress relief. Stress Treat relief. yourself to the ultimate comfort with Brooklinen's Comforter Collection. Go to brooklinen.com, use the promo code DPT to get $25 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. And enter the enter the promo code DPT for twenty five dollars off with a minimum purchase of a hundred dollars. Brooklinen dot com and use the promo code DPT at checkout. So we all want to be comfortable, mm-hmm. especially these days. Mm-hmm. But nobody wants to feel sloppy in a mm-hmm. pair of sweatpants. Well, Public Rec, I love these guys. They give you the comfort of sweats without sacrificing style. Public Rec makes leisure wear in waist and inseam sizes because comfort starts with a better fit. It's so true. Yeah, they're best selling all day, every day. Pants are best selling for a reason. They're more stylish, stylish, stylish. I'll take it. Stylish. Alternative to sweatpants and a more comfortable alternative to. Jeans. I wore mine to play golf in and they were the most comfortable pants. It was like I wasn't wearing any pants. <laughs> I loved it. I moved so well in them. I looked really cool in them. I just, I, I wear them all the time. It's like, goodbye jeans. Yep. Uh, they're made for breathable, stretchy, moisture wicking. I said wicking. You said wicking. Fabric so you can wear them all day, every day and damn, they look brand new. The all day everyday pants come in nine different colors. They also have zipper pockets so no more having your phone fall out when you sit down. Now you can get your whole wardrobe from Public Rec. They they got incredibly comfortable shorts. Check out their t-shirts. Their Henleys are dope. Uh, they got all kinds of polos, hoodies, jackets, even some golf gear. Like yeah, Randy and mentioned. I wore the all-day pants as my golf pants. They're amazing. Public Rec rarely discounts. But right now, they've got an exclusive offer just for you townies. Mm-hmm. Go to publicrec.com slash D. P-T, and use promo code DPT to receive 10% off. That's Public Rec, R-E-C, and use the promo code DPT for 10% off. All right, guys, it's time to uh, thank some of our Patreon folks, oh, right? Let's get this. into it. I love it when we I create stories it. for people just based off some consonants and vowels thrown together. And hey, uh, like Denise Sue. Denise oh, Sue. A girl named Sue. A, de- a girl named Denise <laughs> Sue. I love it there very much. Uh, we also want to thank Katie Maylink. Maylink or MyLink? Have you gotten your MyLink? MyLink sounds like what you need to drive through tolls in the Dakotas. I got my MyLink. Link. It's I, mm-hmm. you know, I have my MyLink inside of my center console, <laughs> and it still worked. Uh, also, a big shout out to Jacqueline. Come Paduano. On. Paduano. Paduano. You, you've done. You've done well, my young Paduano. Ooh, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, also, Aaron Walker. Aaron Walker. We're Texas walking with Ranger. Mm-hmm. Texas Ranger. David Sella. David Sella, he's more selling Mabaya, out. More Babaya, but he's, he's but a true he's local. More Babaya. He's true a true local. Yeah, as, true local. As, 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 as is Katie Miley. This Thank one, you. I feel like I have to like yell it out. Carlos Berrientos. Carlos Berrientos. 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 Berrientos is very poetic. Berrientos. Berrientos. Um... Peter Knight Myers. This one of our, our dearest buddy. friends. You know this yes. Place? yes. Peter. 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 PKM, you guys Myers. Know Myers. PKM. He's PKM. the best. PKM played basketball with us. We started playing out here. He, first of all, he's shorter than us and a better rebounder than us. <laughs> he's amazing. Yeah, you can get it on the boards. He's got a lovely wife uh, and they have a beautiful daughter. Named and Bowie. Bowie. I and love he's it. such a great dude and he listens to the podcast and we appreciate him so much in thanks, life. Peter and Knight and Myers. I'm going to say thanks to this next person True who local. definitely has their own micro brew set up in their garage, Hamilton Porter. Have you tried the Hamilton Porter? The it's, Hamilton Porter it's is good. good. It's delicious. It is good. It's good. I'm not it's usually really a Porter fan. I like a lot of head on that Hamilton uh, We want to say thanks to a pillar of the community, Wes Toller. Wes Toller. Wes Toller, Toll House, Well House, Wes Toll House, Toll House, Well House, Cookies. Wes Toller and East Toller are my friends. You don't want to go over to East Toller. Wes Toller is where it's at. East Toller and West Toller. Thomas Miller is a pillar of the community. Thank you, Thomas Miller. is a pillar. Tommy Miller time. He's a miller of the community. He's a miller of the community. 
community. Uh, we have another person here, Sean Lehman. Put uh, it to me in Lehman's yeah, terms. Yeah, how do you want me to say it? Put to it you? to me in Sean's terms. Uh, Casey Huvier. Huvier. Is it Hoovler? It's Huvier. Oh, no, it's not an I. I thought it was. It's Hoovier. Huvier would be awesome. It's Hoovler. Hoovler. I got a Hoovler. Hoovler. It's the best vacuum cleaner I've ever gotten. <laughs> <laughs> it corners, is Dan. The, it corners. It, she, she is the best sixth woman on the basketball That's team. That's right. Hoovler. Dude, Hoovler uh, came in and just mopped oh up on the God. board. We she won today because of Casey Hoovler. Up on the Somebody has said that. We won today because of Casey Hoovler. <laughs> yeah, we did. We Fiona Hollier? Hollier. Hollier than thou. Than thou. Mm-hmm. Hollier than thou. Fiona Hollier. Mm-hmm. Fiona Hollier. I feel, it feels like an indie song. Fiona Hollier. Lenore Hare. Lenore, <laughs> Lenore yeah. Hare. You up on those hairs? Mm-hmm. Check your hairs. This is a lo- season nine Hare. of Alone. Lenore Hare sounds like a character in like a Grimm's fairy tale. Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you the story so of little Lenore Hare. That's right. Uh, Jeremy Jensen. True Jeremy. local. Little true JJ. Local. Little JJ. 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 I love him. You can call him JJ. How about the next one? Jimmy Scragman. James Jimmy, Scragman. James Scragman uh, sends in a lot of... James Scragman sends in a lot of AKAs for our daily podcast. So mm-hmm. thank you, James Scragman. Scragman. Love Who's you, that buddy. guy? Jack Lund- Jack London is that his name? Jack Klugman? No, Jack. Uh, Scragman. The, the great, the classic actor from like the apartment. Jack Lemon. Jack Klugman. No, Jack, Jack, Jack Lemon. Jack Lemon. Jack Klugman was in uh, the, the Odd, Odd Couple. Couple. Yes, he was. But yeah. Jack, Jack Lemon Lem- sounds he was also Quincy. James Scragman sounds like a character Jack Lemon played. Hey, James Scragman is the Jack Quincy. Lemon of Jack Klugmans. Mark. Hauser. Mark Hauser. Hauser. All right. Michael Dana King. House. And I don't know Hauser. if that's the same Michael King I went to high school with, but I'd have to guess there's probably 4,000 Michael Hings in, in California. I alone. would just say, here come the king. Here come the king. A couple mm-hmm. more of these. Let's say thank you to Mark Pritchard. Mark Pritchard can throw a fastball 98. <laughs> 98. Steps on the bump, just fires it. Crazy Corgi. Crazy Corgi. These Never. Corgis are so crazy. Right. Uh, and then we have Cynthia Oakley. You know what? I'd like That's to. That's a great name. She, her love wraps around us. She's there a rapper. Do you she's remember a rapper in the Olympics, those for the 1996 that went over the head? What? Remember they would no, start the here and then went over the back of your head? I mean, the Cynthia, Olympian the ran Cynthia them. Oakleys that go all yeah, the way up yeah. and over. I love mm-hmm. it. Yummo be CJ Snipes. CJ Snipes, man. True, True local. local. True local. Just waiting for those chances. Mm-hmm. Just CJ Snipes. Wait, white white men can jump. We got two more. Alexander Moore. Alexander Moore. That's close. You're close. His <laughs> name is Alexander Moore. And, and there's then, a million things I have to tell him for. And then this one. This is this person's name is the like alias of a superhero. Like uh-huh. this is their Clark Kent. And Derek you know Blackwelder. Gonna... Roll Blackwelder. Keep <laughs> on rolling, <laughs> Mississippi moon. Won't you keep on shining on me? Roll Blackwelder. <laughs> keep on rolling, Love Mississippi it. Mississippi So moon. good. So much yeah. fun. There you go, guys. Let's get back to the show. Thank you, everybody. All right, let Dan, Dan take, take us home with this last story. Here we go. Story number three. Sent yes. in by Kate Nunes. Kate has been around for so long. She's been a fan for a year. Love she her. always sends in stories. I love it, too. I, I met her at a, for a live show, and I can't wait to meet her again after See once. See her again. Someday, hopefully Thank this you. year. Mm-hmm. Uh, at Kate Nunes. N-E-U-E-N-S. Thank you. All right. Here's the headline. Mm-hmm. Man asks woman to refund the cost of food and drinks after relationship goes nowhere. Wow. The so, dumbest. Talk about shit. item. Yeah. Yes. Wait. So like she had hold on. So she's she she had a spreadsheet. Mm-hmm. Is that- he did. He did. He, he asked he for it for her stuff and he's like, I want <gasps> this mu- I want it back. This yeah, didn't work I'm out and I want it, it back. He- headline. Mm-hmm. And they say romance is dead. Again, we don't need your Who flourishes. Is they? I know. Who's they okay. get out of here. A hairstylist. A rapport, <laughs> you know, yes. Building, building. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Yes. A hairstylist from Milwaukee. Sounds like I'm about to pitch you a great TV show. I mean, come on. <laughs> a a hairstylist from, from Milwaukee, Milwaukee has stirred a debate on Twitter after I, revealing. Wait, go ahead. My, the next line should be a hairstylist from Milwaukee goes into space. Are you listening? <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs> don't please sit back down. <laughs> a hairstylist from Milwaukee has stirred a debate on Twitter after revealing that one of her former suitors has asked to be reimbursed for their three dates that they went on. Wow. The woman who identified herself as Alex on Twitter first shared news of the guy's gutsy question in mm-hmm. February, mm-hmm. posting a screenshot. Sc- yeah, <laughs> bullshit. A uh, <laughs> screenshot of his jerky? text to her uh, to her account. This is what she said. She captioned it with this. It's the audacity for me. Mm -hmm. She captioned the screenshot, which appeared uh, along with the messages that the man sat in regards to reimbursing him. Here's what he wrote. Hi, Alex. Hope you're doing well. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Hope she's doing well. Nope. 
Would you mind letting me know what your Venmo is? He begins. That's out the gate, right? Wow. He wow. quickly gets to the point of the question claiming it's only fair to ask for equal payment from you for the dates that we went on. Mm-mm. I believe it was three separate times we went out to bars and restaurants where I paid for both of us each time. Mm. I'd say blank is more than fair for your food and drinks that I got you during those dates. I'm going to ask you guys how much, how much money do you think he is owed? Does he think it's fair. Does he think he's owed food and drink. That he thinks. Yeah. So this is him thinking. Food and he's drink. Mm-hmm. Three dates, bars and All restaurants. All right. Uh, I'm gonna guess a um, hundred. A hundred bucks. Okay. So I'm gonna option. guess. I'm. I was going the opposite. I was gonna say something like eighteen dollars and forty two cents. Oh yeah. God. So okay. super petty. Like this yeah, is the right, 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 principle right. of it. Yeah. For okay. you. Okay, Jason. Jay. What do you think? I'm gonna say seventy five bucks. Seventy five dollars. I think a hundred and eighty bucks. Okay. He's mad. You go that way. Okay. Okay. He's mad. Right. They went out a few times. He's not happy. The total amount that he asked for for her share of drinks. And food. I want, I want it to be so little. I, I want now it to be, I want I want to be like right. seven bucks. I'm, I'm with you. The total amount he asked for is $35. Oh, it is so wow. little. It is so little. Right. $35. Wow. Dollars. wow. You th- and, you just part- and you know this guy's like, why am I single? Why? And you're like, I... I can give you 35 reasons why you're single. (laughs) (laughs) I can give you 35 reasons, three text messages, and your general attitude Mm -hmm. as to why you're single. You know what? You ugly. You, you ugly. ugly. You ugly. That's the guy that deserved the note. That's not Neil Strauss. You ugly. Okay. Well, oh. You it's, ready for the worst this part is of this? This where people to me? should be yelped. Yes. You ready you for the I mean? worst part of yes. this to me? Yes. What he says to her in the last sentence oh, no. is such like, dude, until you fundamentally change the way you think you, you are should going speak to, to be alone. any person, you're going to be alone. Let alone women. You're going to be alone. You will, you're going to stay alone. Mm-hmm. He goes on to say, quote, I view you as a fair girl. I hope you'll consider reimbursing me. Oof. And I'm like, a, oh, fair, a fair girl. girl. And I'm like, dude. First of all, it's probably fair a woman. Fair girl? Yeah. I know. Girl? You're a fair-minded person. You'll probably reimburse me. No. Like, and by the way, if I'm the woman, I'm like, yes. I, I don't want this hanging over my head at all. Right. I would rather give you 35 for 35 bucks to make you disappear from my life. That's a great, that's, uh, that's worth so a bargain. wonderful thing. I'll where where do I send you the money? I'll give you 50 to delete my number or yeah. I'll give you $35, but in giving you that 35 back, I get to write the most scathing text back to you about saying that you will always be alone. You will never be with anybody. No right. one will ever yeah. be with you ever. Again. You know what I would do? I'd be like, I, you know what? You're right. I do owe you $35. I also remember how much you said you loved your dog. So I made a $35 donation to the no kill animal shelter. That's in Milwaukee. Right. I'm sure you appreciate That's that. Right. Yeah. I, how, how about, about giving you 30, how, how about I'm going to take, <laughs> I'm going to take these $35 that I should be paying you. And I'm going to hire Lisa Lampanelli on Cameo to tell you you're a fucking you piece go. of garbage right. and just rip you a new one all day long. Beautiful. I cannot believe mm-hmm. that. There's, I really can't. That is dumb people tell. I know. That's the I know. 30, for 35 bucks. He uh. then appeared to share his own Venmo information should Alex actually want to send him the money. To which point I would be like, you know what's going to happen? So many people are going to start requesting payments from you. From yeah. you. Yes. yes. They should. They Can should. I have a dollar? And that was how it ended. Sort of. Following the tweet, a debate began raging in the comments. Most oh, readers God. seemed aghast at the man's request. Obviously. Of course. Sure. And there were many who, there were some who tried to defend him. And a few cases some people even shared shock shockingly similar exchanges with other people mm-hmm. quote this is a woman who wrote quote dating is like gambling you put your time money and whatever into it and sometimes it doesn't work out and you leave empty hand handed you made the decision to spend the money and, and now you're just mad you didn't win i'd be like yeah it's all a crap yeah. shoot you want to pay for somebody's drinks in the moment it's that moment. Dan, you don't get like, to come back later and go, you know what? I really shouldn't have bought in those margaritas. T- T.S. It's like the election. At that moment, on that Saturday night, you said, "Let's." I'm going to buy these drinks. It's, it's the done. election. It's the election all over again. There was a point in this time where if you lose the election, it's over. You lost. That's the end of the election. You don't yeah. get to challenge the electoral mm-hmm. college thing, which is just a confirmation of the thing. You don't get to do that. <laughs> right. You don't yeah. get to go ask for your money back. Right. It's over. You don't say it it's the voting out. machines. No. no. It right. wasn't the it's cash not. register. Don't, don't hit me up two weeks later and say, I ate more of the queso dip than you, so I owe you seven dollars no. and eighty cents. Nope. I'm not doing nope. it. Dating, nope. it, 
talking yeah, about fair when you're changing the rules. You're That's changing right. what the agreement it's not fair. is. Right. That's right. It's not fair. It, it, if you really want that to be, then you need to say at the very beginning, let let's go Dutch on everything. Yes. Let's just go Dutch on everything. And you probably won't get three dates. <laughs> yeah. Also, can we just get this rule out there for all these idiots in the world? Dating, marriage, mm-hmm. long-term relationship, one night of hanging out, no one owes you anything no one owes you. So here's other what, than to be treated decently that's it. and be honest. That's here's it. what that's people it. in relationships love to do. Keep score. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to keep a relationship going forever. Honey, I'm looking at the love spreadsheet. Yeah, and, and, uh, you are, are you in the red. Really deficient in the You're last year. Eighty percent. We'll get out of here on my favorite thing. One commentator, or I'm sorry, com- commenter. Yeah. Uh, seemed to touch on the most astounding part of this whole story. Quote: I'm more confused about how they went on three dates and only spent seventy dollars. <laughs> <laughs> are you just eating? Where? Yes. Where? Are you yeah. just He's getting cheap. hot dogs at the mini golf place? To I, respect, I respect that game. If you're Me eating too. at the, they at the mini golf place, they went to Popeyes Chicken. Yeah, yeah. they just went to Costco. That's um, it. Got the samples. samples. Apps samples. were the samples. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's a good day. There are moose bu- bushes, and yeah. then they got their hot dogs. Don, if this Done. thing goes any further, we can buy those two coffins over there. So there oh, you go. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> But they come in a six pack. It's Costco. Costco. We'll find them. We'll, we'll, we'll find enough people, people who yeah. want to do it. Uh, uh, there you go. <sighs> you can add it to cart. There, there you go. go. Add to cart. I love you guys. Thank you for doing the show with us. And thanks for being so fun. Suchin, Kulap, uh, you have an open invite to any time you need something you guys want to promote. Please come on our show and Thank be goofy you. with us and make fun of dumb people. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh my God, it was so well, fun. Thank, thank you, you guys. Love I know. It. it was the perfect, perfect uh, conversation to be having right it's now. It's what we <laughs> yes. needed. You it's guys what were we what we needed. Yes. And uh, oh shit, we got to get back to work. Dum, dum, dum. A podcast network. Hey guys, Sky Brothers here with Daniel Van Kirk. Mm-hmm. And we wanted to give you one more reminder before the end of this episode to come check us out on Stereo. Dumb People Town goes live Tuesdays at 4 p.m. You can talk to us directly through the app and we'll respond to you in real time. Download the app, then follow the three of us and you will be notified when we go live. We literally cannot wait to see you and hear from you on Stereo.